All right, so we are going to be making three artworks and we are basing them on a feeling and you want to pick your one feeling and you're going to make a realistic version of that feeling, an abstract version of that feeling, and a non-objective version of that feeling. So we should know what those are by now. So I've already drawn mine with pencil here, so you're just going to watch me outline with a sharpie and see them come to life. This is my realistic one I'm doing first, so I'm just going to set these to the side. Okay, so here they are, and hopefully you can tell that my emotion that I chose was calm. So this one's calm, kind of breathing lightly with a soft smile. She looks very calm, her eyelids are a little heavy, but she's smiling. And this I'm going to show calm a little bit more with the color. I tried to keep calm looking lines rather than super jagged lines. Okay, so what I'm going to use here is I'm going to color these in with crayon. So, if I'm starting with my realistic one, I need to pick realistic colors. So I need to find a color that's the color of my skin. And I have light skin, so I pick a light peachy colored crayon. And I would need brown for my hair, obviously a type of pink for my lips. So here's my realistic self-portrait of calm. Um, I did this with crayon. Now I'm going to go to my abstract one and you can choose to keep with crayon or you can move on to colored pencils or markers. It's up to you. I think I'm going to switch to markers here. And you still want to think about color though. So if I'm showing calm, what color would calm be? What color do you see calm as? Okay, and since this is abstract, I don't need to have realistic colors, so I'm going to color in her face green. Because I think calm, I think green when I think of calm, just because I think of like um, like the a tropical environment. So I see like palm trees or a forest, and that makes me feel calm. Alright, so this is all finished with marker, this is with crayon. I went back to crayon for my non-objective, um, calm self-portrait. And I just wanted to show you, so I colored all of it with crayon, and now I'm just layering. So you can layer crayon on top of crayon, okay? I did it up here in the corner, you can kind of see, I colored it with like a lime green, and then I layered some violet on top. And I'm just going to do that again here, so I did a light color. I'm going to color directly on top of it and that's just to add a little more interest and this doesn't have to be outlined with the black sharpie this is just me adding stuff that I want to see here so crayons are super cool that way they can be layered a lot of times we forget that they can be layered and I'm making lines that make me feel calm so I'm thinking of like the ocean waves that's what I'm thinking of here So here's my realistic, abstract, and non-objective self-portraits. Okay, so the final step to our series here is to prepare these for presentation. So we are going to create a frame for each of our drawings. So I've already made a frame for my non-objective and for my abstract. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do it on my realistic. So you're going to get a stencil. I made a few different designs that you can choose from. 
and you want to lay it on your piece of paper and I'm going to connect mine over here on the edge since it's straight. Simply trace, hold down tight. You want to trace around the edge and you also want to trace that rectangle in the middle, the opening. This part. And cut out. Okay, so now I have to cut out this opening here. So the trick to doing that is to connect your edges like this. And then you want to cut right here in the middle. Notice how you can see the um, where I've drawn. And you cut right here. I'm not folding it, just simply holding it with this hand. I cut it. That gives me an area to put my scissors. And then now I'm going to cut till I go see that line. And then I can easily begin cutting that rectangle out in the center. Okay, so I've cut it out, but you can see some of my pencil marks here on the side. So I'm actually going to make this side the side that you look at because there's no pencil marks here. Um, so that means when I take my artwork, I'm going to put it down on the side where I can see the pencil marks like this. So that way when I flip it over, I won't be able to see anything. All right, so you just want to lay it kind of right over that opening. Try to make sure it's sort of even on every side. And then you're merely just going to tape your artwork inside the frame. So we'll do a small piece up here, down here, and I want to do two on the sides as well. Okay, so what I'm doing now is you have the option to decorate your frame. So I'm taking construction paper crayons and I'm going to show you on this one. Just an option of what you could do. So I've already pre-drawn a pattern here with a pencil and I'm outlining it and I'm pressing hard as I outline. Um, it's going to give me a brighter color the harder that I press. If I press light, the lighter color will appear. So I'm using pressure with my arms and my hand. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press light and color parts of this in. And what you're going to see is you're going to see a change in value. You're going to see things that are lighter and things that are darker. And it's all based on how hard I'm pressing with my crayon. Okay, now after you have decorated everything and they are in their frames, you're going to get a black sheet of paper and you're going to put your name and your code on the back. And I want you to lay out your portraits first before you glue them down to make sure they all fit. And you want to see black paper at the top, black paper on the bottom, and black on either side. Okay, so you just want to flip over your art, put a frame of glue, Okay, we set this on the drying rack to, die, to dry, and what you have created here, this is called a triptych. It's a series of three artworks, and you've learned three different ways of making a self-portrait showing feeling.